welcome back to the Small Farm series. This is Tome NG, as you have probably seen from the intro. I, uh, I took a couple of contracts over yonder. As you can see, there's some straw bales over there. So we harvested some wheat. You'll see the cinematic video of that. Uh, anything that we got extra, we put in our silo here. And we also bailed the straw. We haven't been paid for the contract yet. We also have a contract on the field over as well. So we need to accept this, but I want to get the bales off of it first and get those sold. And we also have a sewing contract on this field one over. So we'll get into the time lapse video sort of thing of everything being done over there first and then we'll get into picking up the bales and getting those sold so i'll see you guys back here in a jiffy
So, as we're sitting here, just about ready to go pick up those bales, I want to note we did pick up an OK Use Mods bug zapper for 50 bucks. Hopefully, keep the bugs down, be able to sit out here at night, enjoy ourselves a little bit more. We also got this uh, water post. I figured since we already have the tap here, we should technically be able to fill up water into like jugs and things, so we didn't actually pay for this. Um, I tried to make it so it's pretty much the same thing. You would think you would be able to fill up a trailer from the hose that we have, but you know, farm sim you can't, so that is that. As you can see from the time lapse thing, we uh, bailed the straw that was left over there from the school harvest. But it wasn't straw, it was hay. So that's weird. I'm not sure if it's just because I let it sit out long enough. But, uh, oh, I forgot my weight. Okay, let me go get my weight. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's because I let it sit there so long, but it did come out of the back of the combine, a funny color to begin with. So I'm not quite sure. Also, just to... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Just to point it out there, we don't technically own Field 39. I'm not sure if I went over this before. Um, to mow behind my house here, which would have technically been in my area, it wouldn't let me unless I own this. So I bought it. But we're just not going to use it unless we do want to buy it. So it's worth 34250 So if we, when we do expand, they'll probably be one of the first fields we go for. So I'll just take that out of the bank when that time comes and actually be able to use it again. As of right now, I just put uh, some corn in it just to make it look visually appealing so we don't have an empty field right next to us all the time. Um, just for to say that so and so who actually owned it still owns it and still doing stuff with it but yeah <clears throat> I figured that you guys have seen me bail more than enough that's what this series pretty much started out on so didn't think I'd put you guys through that again the loading of bales can be comical I guess it's also pretty boring, so I'll probably put this into a time lapse. Listen to a bit more Spaceman. Just uh, Spaceman just put out a new album the other day, actually, earlier this past week. It's a pretty good album. I watched the premiere of it while I was out working. And I've listened to it like three or four more times now since. Anyways. We'll see you guys when this is done. I'm not sure we're, if we're going to sell these right away. Let's check the price. $51. That's better than hay and grass. So yeah, I think we're going to sell that right as soon as we get everything loaded. Just take it right over and get it sold. I do have the um, mod straw missions.
turned out pretty good. We've got just over $2,000 now in the bank. And we still need to complete this contract, which I think is like another $800. Plus we got, I think it was just over a thousand liters of wheat put into our silo. Um, <clears throat> we also, I took the pallet of wheat or pallets of wheat that were sitting in there for the chickens and I put those in the silo too just to kind of make sure everything was about the same. That's not what I wanted to do. Why don't you drop sideways? There you go. Okay, so let's go and complete this contract here. Another $812. Collect. Nice. And another $519 to sow that field, the far field with spelt. So we might as well get into doing that too. Uh, Use the 135 to bring the cedar out, but I'm still going to use the 198. One thing I've weirdly noticed about this 198, it says 198 in the store, or 398, sorry, 398 in the store, and it shows 90 horsepower. But when I get into it, it says A104. Still does everything I need it to, so I'm not too concerned about it, but it's just a little weird. I can't remember where I got this mod. I, I downloaded a lot of Massey mods since I. Massey is my favorite tractor brand. I've got a 1965 Massey Ferguson 35 diesel. I can let it sit all winter long, and it'll turn key and fire right up in the spring like the second or third crank it's beautiful it's my great grandfather's tractor we bought it new back in 65 one owner he passed away and i brought it over to our farm so it's been good okay so spelt let's see can we plant spelt with us i hope so yes we can all right Let's lower this down. Just setting up the GPS line here. There we go. Should be cooking with gasoline now. How's that? Yep, we're doing good. So I hope everyone's had a good weekend, week, and I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Been busy working. We had a really busy weekend with all the tourists coming up. So, it was good though. Busy weekends are good, makes the time go by faster. So I can't really complain there. couple people got caught speeding which is to be expected it's a nice weekend there's a lot of problems on the highway that went on this weekend there's a couple of motorcycles got clocked doing 200 kilometers an hour which is 100 kilometers an hour over the speed limit on the highway a couple of guys got caught uh, street racing so always eventful Uh, here I am forgetting what I talked about last time. There we go. Do the auto width. Gotta do the auto width. Okay, so that's just gonna bring me right back down here. 
just to make sure I'm on the same line, I'll just continue going back down. It's not a direct trail, so I'm not wasting anything, or I shouldn't be. Too busy talking and forgetting what I'm doing, I guess. So. Also, guys, let me know how the audio is working out. I uh, played around with a couple audio settings. I noticed that the in-game volume... Even though I had it set at a decent level, it wasn't coming through at a decent level. So hopefully now you can actually hear the in-game volume and me at the same time. Like even if I get in right close, my voice is still should be quite a bit louder than the in-game volume. So hopefully that'll work and hopefully I can make it a little smoother in editing. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you get any suggestions about that, let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with anything I put out in the future. Really means a lot to me. I think I'm up to like 14 or 17 subscribers now, so that's that's pretty cool. Shout out to all of you sticking by me. So thank you for that. I will be starting my uh, new series, the hog farm series. Once I'm done recording and editing this video, I'll start recording episode one of that. So that should be alright. I see everyone doing like cow farms and dairy farms, but I don't really see too many people doing hog farms. So that'll either A, corner the market all for myself and hopefully grow my channel, or B, no one likes hog farms and it's not going to help me at all. So. We'll find out, I guess. Either way, I'll have fun doing the series and that's all that matters. Hopefully you guys enjoy it too. I, uh, I really love doing the small equipment. But I also don't mind the small to medium size, like American style equipment. So that's pretty much all that we have around here in Canada. I'm not jumping all of Canada in. I'm talking about like the place in Ontario where I live. Everything's small to medium sized farms. There's a couple of air drills here and there but they're small. It's mostly corn and soybeans. We also have some people growing potatoes and everything. But it's mostly corn and soy. Yeah, this field's coming along pretty good. I'd like to find the owner who actually owned this drill in the first place and sent him some money since we did just pick it up at the house over there. I know the workers say uh, just come pick it up and get rid of it for us, but I would like to know who owns it. Toss him a couple bucks for it at least. I guess I should really ask our uh, neighbor how much he wants for his manure spreader. He doesn't seem to be using it. We're the only ones that are using it. And we're buying our manure from him anyways, so... I'll have to work out a good price. If anyone thinks of a good price, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what I should pay for it. It's not a very expensive manure spreader to begin with. So keep that in mind. It is dirty and used now at this point, so... Let me know down below. Once this contract's done, I think we're going to skip through the rest of the day and into tomorrow and see what we can do. I just like to keep the days moving. Maybe see our canola pop up out of the ground. That would be cool. That would be very cool. Turned out to be a pretty good sized field, all things considering. A wraparound field around the house. Not sure what kind of yield we're going to get off of it, but everything's done to the field. Plowing, lime, fertilizer. It's almost fully fertilized in most spots. It's kind of blotchy, but it's a lot better than not having any fertilizer on it at all. It's not really worth going back around and trying to re-fertilize everything since it is so blotchy. Final pass here. 
There's a spelt going in the ground. That'll be like an extra 500 bucks or something. Which will bring us over $3,000. So that's not bad. There's the contract. Um, we'll just finish out this last row for them. Field are we on? 240, 41. And there is some fertilizing contracts up over here that we could look at. Just makes it a little bit harder to cart the manure back and forth in that little manure spreader. Oh, there's a dip there. That is, it's awesome that we do have that manure spreader there, but it's, uh, we gotta go with decent ways to transport back and forth. I think it only holds 3,000 liters and it gets through it pretty quickly. I wonder if there's going to be a plowing contract on field 40. I'd much rather plow it than cultivate it. Our plow is a little bit bigger than our cultivator but Cross that bridge when we come to it. I know we do have this little fertilizer spreader here. That's full of lime at the moment. We don't actually own any solid fertilizer. So we'd have to go down and buy that. We'd also have to try to empty that out when it's full of lime. So. Not super ideal. Let's put the three, 135 back in the shop here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, as you can see, it is raining. So, can't really get too much done ourselves, but we did pick up a couple more contracts. We got a contract on 41 to fertilize. The crop that we just sowed and 37 which is just across the pond here or the trail as you could say for fertilizing as well that's a big field we'll make good use of our neighbors manure spreader so we'll do field 41 first here and I'll probably end up putting this mostly into a time-lapse because that's a lot of spread and muck and as much as I like spread muck that'll get a little boring after a while if you know what I mean it's a little four letter word that I'd normally use instead spreading you know oh this trailer holds 3500 liters gotcha let's get some lights on it's a little, a little dark Neighbor's corn's coming up pretty good. That's nice. I was kind of hoping to get the plowing contract for this field, but nope, nothing came up. So, it is what it is, I guess. Let's see how our GPS lines up for this one. If we just go into our auto whip again. Start spreading. I think the last time we did this we still needed to fill it up twice, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a big job to do that over there. But that contract pays out pretty good too. That one over there pays out forty three hundred. And our neighbor doesn't charge us that much for manure, so I think we'll we'll make out pretty good. I think we'll over double our money. Even with having to buy manure. Definitely would be nice if we had cows or pigs or something. I don't really want to do pigs here because I'm doing pigs on the new series that I'm starting. There is a cow pen in the property next door to us. I think that place is like 60 grand though. So we'll be a while yet before we can buy that. 
So maybe one day. And then we don't have to buy manure from our neighbor. In fact, we might even get a bigger manure spreader. We might buy one instead of just borrowing this one. It is definitely nice of him to let us borrow this one, but... Alright, well I'm just going to plug away here, and I will see you guys in a while. contract has finished now on this field so we might as well just use what's left in here for the benefit of the benefit of the doubt finish off this field and go fill it back up maybe give it a little bit of a wash drop it back off at our neighbor's house It's definitely taken a little while to get this done. Lots of backwards and forwards to get it filled back up again, but it's done. 
We are down to just under three grand now. At $115 a load, and you get uh, you get pretty far, I guess. Definitely can't complain. There's that peacock outside. He's sitting right out outside. Right outside of my door, laying down, trying to stay cool. All right, well, might as well just collect that. $1,000. $7,320. Nice. Definitely a good payday, that's for sure. Well, we'll go get this cleaned and prepared. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for the episode. We got a lot done today through the um, time lapse stuff at the beginning, the harvest and everything, and the bale over at the school. I think we plowed that and spread uh, spread manure over there too. <clears throat> it's been a good day. Can't complain. Three dollars. Wow, that's that's cheap. Don't mind paying for the repair bills or not. Three dollars. Can't complain there. Let's wash this out just to go back over and fill it with manure. Show our neighbor that we actually appreciate him though for letting us use this. We will have to try to buy it off of him. If he's willing to sell it, I'm not sure. Give a tractor a bit of a rinse off too. This one's definitely been good to us. It's a really good tractor, I like it. I'll see if I remember to snap a picture of the peacock on my phone, if he's still there by the time I'm done this. Put it in somewhere at the end of the video, or right here. So you can see what's making all the noise in these videos. I think he might have left though, well, I'm not sure. I'll have to go check. Definitely a good day, fair bit of progress, lots of contracts done and completed, and a good amount of money. Can't complain. Let's get this thing parked up in there. I parked the 135 in a bit of the, bit in the way, but... Oh, I got the hazards. go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the content I put out. I am off for the next couple days so hopefully I should be able to pump out some more videos. Anyways, there he is. Being noisy. Yep. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.